All right, so this is home studio build day one. Actually, no, I'm wrong already. Home studio build week one, uh, which is actually about half of a week. So they've done three days of construction. Uh, so I was actually hoping to film some of this before they started putting up the acoustic sheetrock so I could show just the framing, but we're still pretty early on. Uh, this tile floor uh, was here when we moved in. Uh, it wound up being too much uh, to demo it, so we are going to just leave it and then put the put the new flooring on top of it. We're doing room within a room construction here, so you can see we're doing air gaps. So usually they're not going to be this wide. Um, for some of the other walls, uh, only doing the, the one inch that's required between the one wall and the other wall. But here, there is a um, support pillar here. So we had to make this wall a little bit wider. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference for soundproofing or if it's just a waste of space, but that's what we had to do. This is the live room. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but just here, having all this rock wool here makes it noticeably quieter sounding in this room already than it was out in the entranceway. Although um, once we put the acoustic drywall and the regular drywall up, it's gonna be a little more reflective again. Opening for the studio window, six foot by three foot. And not all of these boxes are electrical. Some of them are gonna be Cat 5 that I'm gonna to use to actually send some audio through. Actually, it's Cat 6, but whatever. Um, Ethernet cable that I'm gonna to use to uh, send audio through. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use them for uh, individual personal monitor headphone mixes or for um, actually sending recorded audio through or if I'm not gonna use them at all. But I figured, hey, we're wiring up the room. Might as well just wire up everything. Also doing an HDMI connection here because um, in our rehearsal spot, we're always having the challenge that since the computer is in the other room, it's tough to kind of manage Pro Tools from there. So, um, you know, I might do like a dock or like something on an iPad, but I figure sometimes it might be useful to just have Pro Tools up on the monitor here. Um, so that's the intention there. Over here we have what's going to combine to be primarily a closet uh, to store cabinets, drum gear, mic stands, whatever. Let me turn on my flashlight so you can see a little better here. But um, Don't forget about the murder. Yeah, and if I need to murder people. Um, but it's going to serve a secondary purpose in that our next door neighbors, the closest neighbors, are right on this wall. And um, usually you want to have like drywall, sheetrock, air gap, and then reverse order. Uh, rock wool, acoustic sheetrock again. But because on the other side of this is concrete, we can't do that second layer. So I was afraid that too much sound was gonna go through. So I'd figured this closet can also double as a soundproofing buffer. So um, I'm really hoping that very little sound escapes in this direction towards the neighbor. Probably the biggest challenge we're going to have with sound escaping for the neighbor is sound actually going out this way and then through the less acoustically treated wall over there. But unfortunately, because the stairs are right up against the, the uh, concrete, I really, you know, we really couldn't put a frame and rock wool and sheet rock against that wall. It's, you know, unless we were to completely renovate the structure of these stairs, which was impossible. There was no way to put anything blocking here. So I'm just gonna hope that I get lucky and all the soundproofing we have over there is enough that the neighbors don't hate us. Going in through here, boring house stuff, laundry room, furnaces, regular storage, yada, yada. Um, and then the entranceway into the control room. I intentionally put the door as far as possible since I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the standard double door thing like you would usually do and I'm definitely not buying a three thousand dollar acoustic door so uh, I'm hoping that with the opening on the other side of that wall and all of the space between not too much sound goes between them otherwise you know maybe I'll be able to figure out some kind of second door here but the problem is with this duct a true um, 80 inch door, which is already going to have to get cut down by a couple inches. It's just not going to clear it. So we'll see what happens. Um, otherwise, we're going to come in here. 
Here's gonna be where the desk is. If I need to put an additional rack next to the desk with more gear, it's gonna be right here. And then amps are gonna be right here. Uh, I'm hoping that not too much sound is gonna be an issue from here. Um, I don't have a noisy street, so if I need to, after the fact, I could always try to put some kind of second window layer or not a, a true window, but you know, just kind of like acoustic covering that probably only drops the decibels by like 10 SDC. But um, I'm not too worried because I'm almost never gonna have loud noise here. Occasionally I might record my own vocals or something in this room, but otherwise all the loud noise should be happening in the live room over there. And that's pretty much it. All of the Cat 6 from the other room is coming through here. Um, outlet, um, the HDMI that goes to the other room, and then this Ethernet cable is for actual internet, which is coming from our modem uh, router on the first floor through the ceiling down and through here. That's pretty much it right now. Everything is still in the very early stages. Hopefully this live room is big enough, but my house is only so big. So we work with what we've got. I also wouldn't have minded having another foot or two of space in here because really I'm hope my main concern with this room is that if we have like a couch and then, you know, the recording desk is going to be here coming out, I want to have enough room so that if I'm at the desk um, and it's with my own band, so I might have a guitar in my hands and maybe a little pedal board by me and then one, of the, one or two other people from the band are on the couch or on a chair over here. I'm hoping that there's enough room for three guitar players to be in this room doing like a writing session without it getting too crowded and without having to be in the live room, which sometimes we'll want to be, but sometimes it's just way easier to write at the desk. So we'll see. But, you know, space concerns aside, as much as I would love another foot in every direction and as much as I would love for the ceiling to be like two feet taller or five feet taller. Um, I'm pretty excited, so we'll see how it goes.